Greetings all, Vanna here for Virgo's weekly message. Virgo, the first card that came out for you is Justice in Reverse. I feel as though a seed of injustice was has caused trauma, upset, and discourse in your energy. I feel very much heart chakra upset, like this was a betrayal and has caused a lot of hurt and deep wounds that perhaps have been coming to the surface recently. If that is the case and painful memories and emotions are coming back up to the surface, they are doing so to be released. Emotions are energy in motion and they have to be acknowledged so they must be seen and felt. And when they're not, they will just be continued to suppress and fester and aggravate yourself, your situation, and your everyday life. And that creates bitter, angry people. And that's not where you want to be, especially as a Virgo. Like, you have the most powerful emotions of any Earth sign. And it also has such an impact on, on your life. Like, literally... The Nine of Cups was in reverse, and I like immediately knew like this is, this has been a deep seated hurt that perhaps you've even taken on as part of your identity, like your hurt, your trauma is just part of your ego now, and that would make it all the more difficult to release, and heal from because you don't know who you are without hurt, you don't know who you are without the reactions of the experiences that have occurred to you. <clears throat> The Six of Pentacles is coming to bring a, a, a more a more sense of equilibrium to the situation, but true equilibrium can only occur when you go through the difficult part, which is the healing, acceptance, and release of the situations, all of which are very difficult to do, especially the acceptance part, because... To accept and integrate something that has happened to you also means to acknowledge it and to no longer ignore it. The Hierophant in Reverse. This is creating a lot of discourse in yourself. And without the acknowledgement and healing of these wounds you cannot become everything you are meant to be because being earthen and emotional your emotions go into everything that you do and if those emotions are heavy with guilt shame fear doubt anger that's going to fertilize everything that you create Especially unconsciously. The Empress is coming in to help bring in a new sense of stability. This is a card that embodies Virgo, the maiden-like energy. And I want you to step into this Empress without the pain. And so with the Hierophant coming in, being a spiritual leader, protector, and guardian, you have acknowledgments for your spirit team that you need to talk to them with. Because they have been walking beside you trying to help get you through this journey. Bring you to a sense of stability away from this devil. Helping you find your happiness unattached to the conditions that other people would try to put upon it. And they have tried so very hard to protect you while others would... Yeah, like, you are literally this beautiful, wonderful woman that everyone would want, everyone would desire. And they are protecting you from these negative darknesses. And so, rejection is divine protection. Yeah. There's a mental upset that's coming along with this situation. Spirit, what does Virgo have in abundance? Humility. Allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. So there is hurt that has occurred, certainly. But not all the Virgos have learned the lessons. Not all the Virgos want to heed the lessons. They just want to wallow in the hurt 
or co go back to a situation to try to fix it. But <clears throat> intuition, the road to each person's inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what is needed. Learning to trust yourself and not rely so much on outside factors and validation, allowing yourself to step into a new world, step into a new era where you are going to be inherently different from this past situation. And that will be very difficult because Virgo is so earthen. Let everything that wants to go, go and let everything that wants to come, come. This is your time to move into your life. Free yourself from any limiting shackles that this devil energy placed upon you. You placed upon yourself by thinking you don't, are not deserving of something. And allow yourself to step into the true Empress energy that you have. And with those cups that must be released, allow them to overflow with clean water until it dilutes enough that it runs clear. Dump it out, shatter the cups, melt it down, and start anew if you must. Don't be afraid to invite help. Don't be afraid to ask people for support. And I know how difficult that is. I'm Sun, Moon, Rising, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I am as earthen as it gets. And it is so difficult for me to ask for help, especially when it's something that my ego is attached to. Deep freeze in reverse is bringing you out of this place of stagnancy and away from this dragon's lair where you have to constantly feel watched and judged and that people are going to hurt you, people are going to use you, people are going to second guess you, people are always going to say something about what it is you have to do and you always have this, this warden looming over you and it makes you feel like you can't move forward, you can't do anything. Yeah. Like the choice isn't yours. Details, details, and slow and steady is reminding you that focusing on yourself, focusing on your healing will get you out of the storm. It will not happen fast. It will not happen in the way that you think it's going to happen now because you are looking at the situation and therefore a solution to the situation with the limited eyes of what your ego and self knows. But when you begin this attachment with spirit and this connection, you allow them to work in your life and bring about their energy, bring about their aid and their plan, which is truly for your greatest and highest good. And don't feel like you're ignorant or wasting your time. This is something you literally don't know to connect to. You're not taught. Yeah. I mean, you're coming out as yourself with the hermit card at the bottom of the deck under the nine of swords. So like there is a journey that you have to go on and you will walk it by yourself physically and metaphysically. You will have an army of spirits divine entities, guardian angels, ancestors, and descendants that are so ready to call for you to call out to them and, and ask for their help and assistance. And they will be there to help you. They will be there to guide you because they have always been there watching over you. And as soon as you call and make that connection, they are there to answer. So please Virgo, do not feel like you're crazy. Do not feel like this is fantastical. You have the ability to take control of your life in this very moment. So stop hesitating. Have a beautiful day, my love.